It's 1982 and the Doctor is stuck. Again. This time, Peter Davidson's iteration of the Time Lord is stuck in space between an alien spacecraft and his own time-hopping ship, the TARDIS. He has no spacesuit, no way to help him move, and his time is running out. So what to do? Well, naturally, our cricket-themed Time Lord takes a cricket ball from his canonically vast pockets and throws it against the spacecraft he's just left. It bounces off the craft, comes back to him, he catches it and goes flying backwards towards his own TARDIS, arriving in the nick of time. Now, this scene gets a lot of flack, and it probably shouldn't, because the strange thing is, it would actually work, though admittedly it's not perfect. It would work both better and worse than other representations of motion in space we see in sci-fi. Worse because, granted, he'd have to throw the cricket ball a lot harder than he does in order for him to fly backwards as fast as we see, but also better because the throw itself would have launched him backwards as well. This actually is a better representation of conservation of momentum than we're used to on the small screen.